I did an Instagram live with Lewis player Jess King. I put my phone in the washing machine and sometimes oh. I think um, it's just not happy. So, yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. And um, what have you been up to? Good. Um, today I just was relaxing today. I, I wasn't training, um, so sometimes you need the days off. So, yeah. Yeah. So who would be your favourite female or male player? Um, male player would be Gerard. Oh, um, Liverpool player. Well, yeah. Former. Yeah. Um, female player. When I was growing up, probably Mia Hamm or Rachel Yankee. Yeah. Two good players, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's hard to choose one. Yes. Yeah, so because you're a Liverpool born and bred fan, like Liverpool fan. Yes. Um. What are your thoughts on finishing the Premier League, or do you think they should just give it to Liverpool? I mean, if they just, I mean, you don't want to just be given it, you know, it's, we've been waiting a long time for this, um, 30 years, this, isn't it? this title. Yeah. I mean, they haven't, they haven't won it in my lifetime. So I think it started the Prem in 1990 or 92. I don't know. So, um, yeah, but obviously the safety has to come first of the players and the people involved. Yeah, definitely. Um, so from that, that perspective, you know, you have to be realistic, but, Obviously, the fan in me really wants us to to finish the season and and get get the get the title, of course. Yeah. And you play for one of the most amazing clubs, like standout clubs, which is yeah. Lewis. And how would you describe for those who don't know the team? Um, I'd just say, wow, well, that's it's hard to to put into words, but I'd probably just say, you know, a club that is really trying to hold hold their values at, at the core um, and, you know, trying to have a, a real impact on the community. And that's kind of at the forefront rather than at the back. And I think I think it is, it is special and really want to bring about a change within women's football and in, in general in the community. So it's nice to be a part of that, really. So, yeah. And going back to you when you played in four other countries, well, mm -hmm. four four countries in England, um, yeah. what did you have to learn the language? Um, yeah, in Switzerland, I it was in my contract that I had to go to lessons, so I went two or three times a week. But it was just me because I was the only one that couldn't speak German, and my coach actually couldn't speak any English. Um, so we ended up having a really a really good. Um, you know, relationship as coach and player, but it just took a while because, you know, I always needed somebody to translate, but I learned German. And then obviously when I went to Germany, that was helpful. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I, I'm trying to keep it up now as much as possible. But, you know, when you're not living there, it's a little bit, a little bit harder. So, OK. And Lily has asked me personally, being a striker, what tips would you give? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think focus on just always, always being active and always putting extra work, you know, to to um, get the repetition of shooting and different stuff like that, so that in the game it just comes comes like a natural habit, really. And from Lily. What was your first childhood football memory? First football memory, um, probably my first. My first one was just playing on a um, team on a local team when I was quite a few years younger than everyone else. Um, but my first football memory with Liverpool was I scored against Everton um, when I was like eight, and obviously I was pretty happy about that. So. That was probably one of my favourite childhood ones. That must be that must have felt amazing when you scored against Everton because Yeah. It was rival. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, so thanks for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so have a good rest of the week and I'll see you, you soon. Yeah, you too. Take care. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.